Uh, I am Lisa McCune and I'm playing Anna Leon Owens in uh, this uh, production for Opera Australia of The King and I. A fairly iconic role. What what does it mean to uh, to be portraying Anna in this uh, in this production? Um, I I've been really fortunate that I I guess the scariest role that I've ever um, I get ever dared to play was Maria in The Sound of Music so I don't I don't feel a real pressure with Anna as, as much as I did with that and particularly then coming out of Blue Hill of Straight into The Sound of Music it was a very scary time so with this one I think it's um it's kind of a timely role for me and it's the role that I, I feel that I fit at the right time right age bracket and uh, it's really nice to tackle uh, such a beautiful role. You're coming right out of one musical and into another as well. Yeah I had a month off to kind of yeah, recalibrate but it's good because I think vocally you're a little you're in a better better place than maybe you were when I go and do a TV series and then come back to musical theatre. It's always uh, a little more difficult to to get your singing chops up. I was going to ask how long you had off between between shows. Did you know that you were going to be jumping straight into this? Um, yeah, I did. I knew pretty much that um, you know we'd finish our tour of South Pacific and uh, and then jump into this. But they're lovely runs. The Opera Australia. They don't. You kind of even though you do eight shows a week, which is pretty taxing. You you know that it's you know come November that's the end of it. So it's not like this endless <laughs> job that you think, oh gosh, I've got to do this for the rest of my life. And I'm really lucky. I'm you know I'm a working actor and it's great. And I was, I was I said to um, some of the others we spoke to was that it blacks you out for the rest of the year, which as an actor isn't a bad thing. It's a great thing. It's a great thing, and it's doing a. Um, a beautiful job. I mean, you don't. It's not every day that you get to share the, you know, stage with some incredible performers, with you know, a Tony Award-winning designer, um, a full orchestra, and um, you know, it's all about. I'm the I. I'm actually in the title now. I'm the I in the King and I. Yes. There you go. Um, have you ever performed in the King and I before? Did you play in it when you were in school? Because I mean, it's one that. You know, one that's been around for a while now. No, but everywhere I go, it's great when you're doing a show because people come up and say, "Oh, I was in South Pacific and I played blah blah." Or I, and it's really interesting because then they give you their version and what they they thought of the show and what they think of it. It's fun. It's amazing how many people have done the King and I. And the set pieces are starting to shape up, looking pretty pretty spectacular. And that's what's great when you come to Opera Australia is none of the sets wobble. So you walk on stage <laughs> and nothing's going blah, blah, blah. But it's actually really solid construction. It's great. And, and the costumes. The costumes are amazing. I, I think people, for a ticket to The King and I, you know that you're going to be getting every cent's worth out of what you're seeing on that stage without even the performers walking on. The sets are beautiful. The, it just shows our craftsmanship in this country. The costuming is amazing. I was at a wardrobe fitting this morning and the fine detail that's gone into the making of Anna's costumes is, is extraordinary. There might be something missing by the end of the run of shows. <laughs> yes, the odd belt buckle or <laughs> some earrings maybe.